Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners, along with Bob Icino. How is everyone doing today? Interesting week. There's not a lot of great weekly setups. These, this market is not looking healthy at all, especially after the last week of trading. We're going to still go through the sector, see what we spot, but it's pretty much time to batten down the hatches in a lot of areas, unless we get some substantial short-term reversals in this market. But there just aren't a lot of great plays. <clears throat> By the way, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing, ringing that bell, and hitting that like button. Longer term viewers, leave some comments and come back and like the video. So let's get to the trading screens right now. XLE still in long term buy mode, but getting very overdone. We have a potential topping bar after running up to the harmonic area. So I'm going to start watching for a bigger pullback. Things already long. It's continue to aggressively move up the stops. Returning to the daily rotation zone with the daily cycles rolling over. So this is a key area. But if we start getting back below about 86.65 and start rolling through that daily rotation zone, I'll still watch. I'll start watching for the weekly top. And the weekly top cycles are at the high, starting to uh, peak out, but then we could easily return to the weekly rotation zone, which would then mean we'd start looking for new energy plays again. So not doing much besides ratcheting up stops in the energy sector. And that return to the weekly rotation zone could take it back to about mid-84 area, even potentially below that to 25% harmonic to about 83 so definitely that's what I'm keying off of in the short term. So I'm not really looking to enter new positions. It's just managing current positions from a more defensive standpoint at this point. XLRE real estate forming now a potential big double, but this was a very bearish bar. Not expecting this to trigger anytime soon. We are in sell mode. So unless something happens like on a day-to-day short-term basis where we get some kind of strength, there, it's, I'm not really doing anything. You see running up into the weekly rotation zone, weekly cycles getting to the top and rotating down strongly. So I'm really expecting this. I'm expecting this double to not trigger and then it reconnects with 30, the 39.18, which would be the 200-week moving average simple moving average the minor targets i'm pretty much staying clear of real estate at all right now next minor major target next major minor target is 40 50. on any bounce i'm just watching for potential gap fills and then the roll next rollover play so again unless we were to trigger a large larger term uh bottom pattern like this major double bottom hands off on real estate for me XLF financial sector, which is still in sell mode, also has not made a bigger potential double bottom. Not expecting this to trigger either, but again, long term still in sell mode. Cycles are getting to the bottom on the daily, but at the getting to the top on the weekly. So once this weekly rolls over, I'm watching for another substantial push down. So I really doubt that double on the week or that double, you can see it here even on the weekly chart, will trigger. It's just up there because you have to you have to analyze both sides of the market so you are prepared. I'm expecting a push down easily 3179 to 3135 on a daily basis. Even if we had a short-term little pop and filled this gap, I'd watch for another rollover play. So not really touching anything in the financials unless we were to longer term trigger this bigger double bottom. Again, something has to shift on a, a daily basis coming into the next week before I'm interested in a lot of things at all. All right. XLK technology. Again, pretty bearish bar connecting with the 75 uh harmonic on this pullback yes you also have a potential larger term double but pretty much hands off in technology again coming into that weekly rotation zone cycles getting to the top not yet rolling over but we could easily still come down my next level since we are close below 62 and a half 
are 129.10 and then a retest of the lows and then about 125. The only thing that could shift it is if we got back above this peak about 143.60 area. Even on a bounce to short term fill this little gap on the daily would be a rollover play into the daily rotation zone and still not invalidate this bigger double on the higher time frames. So still in sell mode technology. Again, that sounds like a broken record. Unless there's something major outperformance, not interested at all. So you're going to keep hearing this XLI, long term sell mode, no potential double here yet. Looking on the little basis, if we were on the shorter term basis, if we were to put up the harmonics, close below six, two and a half. So I'm now expecting it to easily test 89.20 to 88. All right, and there is no long-term double, but if we did come back down, it could form it next uh, within the next week, but that's a long way off from triggering then. Again, long-term sell, cycles getting close to the top, but not yet rolling over on the weekly and on the daily, cycles heading down. So that's why I'm still, nothing to go here. Even if we were to fill this gap, it'd be just another rollover play in the short term. Everything's trading in unison pretty much. There is no area to hide. Consumer discretionary, real interesting enough, not closing it below the 62.5, but still watching for more downwards pressure in this. In long-term sell, coming to the weekly rotation zone, rotation, uh, rotating back down. Weekly cycles getting to the top, but not yet rolling over. Daily cycles rolling over. Uh, they've hit the bottom. This is interesting. Because even though there's a little room for a potential pop to the upside, uh, I just use it for a setup to look for uh, underperforming consumer discretionary stocks that have bounced and then for rollover plays. I'm still expecting this to potentially come down to 141.36, then 138.78. I just can't get bullish on this sector. And it is in long term sell mode. XLP, not long-term sell mode yet. This is consumer staples. So consumer staples, very close to long-term sell mode, but not yet. See here, coming down, uh, hitting below the 62 and a half, but not yet to the 75. So we don't have a potential double bottom pattern yet. This actually with this little bounce at the end of next week with daily cycles getting to the bottom, and weekly cycles still turning up and nowhere near the top. That's about the only thing I'm interested in looking at. So a stock that's outperforming in consumer staples that is at least a decent valuation I will continue to look for in the next coming week. This is about the only bright spot and it's still not a strong pattern yet. Uh, what would make it a little stronger pattern? We start breaking above uh, Friday's high and that would be if we closed above it it would be a very aggressive percent B buy signal into the daily rotation zone so again that's why the stock has to be outperforming in consumer staples but that's the only thing I'm really looking at XLV back to long-term sell now this is the aggressive long-term sell the conservative long-term sell I need to close below the support base but I'm just going with aggressive since you know, so many things are breaking down. We do have the potential double in here on the weekly basis, but again, long way off. The next lower targets for this, I didn't put those on yet, but would be uh, 124.18, 123.09. Even if this popped back up to about 127.50, not interested at all at this point. Not interested at all to look for anything in this unless it were to trigger a longer term pattern. So that's where we sit with the uh, healthcare. You know, it was looking okay. We had this double coming up and then rolling back over. Cycles could not get much of a bounce on the daily and going back into the bottoming and weekly. Again, setting back into this this long-term sell signal with cycles rolling over. 
not very good, not very attractive, even though a lot of people run into healthcare. Healthcare still not looking like a bright spot unless something is on major outperformance. XLB, boy, material select, not yet the long term sell signal, getting very close to an aggressive one, a conservative one. We'd need to get a close below this support base. Now, what's interesting is on the short term basis, we had this little double, which has come back down with this huge gap hit, hitting below the second target. I'm just going to watch for a oh, more weakness in materials select, even if we did get back above the high from Friday and even into a potential gap fill, I'd be looking for rollover plays. Daily cycles not at the bottom. Weekly cycles look, they're not at the top, but they're looking like they're getting toppy. And we've hit that double so that we could easily come down and test this key support. Now, if we do get another bottoming, strong bottoming pattern off this key support, things might change. But for right now, not liking uh, material select sector here. Down here might be a position for a play, so we'll check on it again next week. XLC still in long-term sell. We had this little double that didn't even get to the first target and rolled over. It's already off the chart. And you see coming into the weekly rotation zone. And why I said over the past couple weeks, why some of these doubles were so aggressive is they are going against these key higher time frame rotation zones. Uh, I'm just watching for this to break down. I'm not looking at anything in communications sector at all right now. Watching 5369 and 5185, but this is something with the weeklies getting to a topping area and the daily still not at the bottom and not turning up. And you see, this is just it tried to get something going here and just rolling over. Not interested at all right now. At all. Let's see. XLU, XLU. Coming up, still in buy mode, but the, the interest rates, what happened, especially on Friday with interest rates, and remember, utilities are interest rate sensitive, and they got hammered. The yeah, A lot of utilities got hammered, still in long-term buy mode. Uh, coming up, first and second targets hit, but with this reaction, that's pretty much off the table. I'm being patient. I'm watching for it to see if it returns to the 50 period. And then if we get a bottoming, uh, a bottoming pattern down around 69.50. Unless that happens, we got weekly cycles starting to roll over. And uh, daily is not at the bottom yet. So I am being very patient, even though this is still in a long-term buy mode. I'm being very patient on a slightly bigger pullback. Then I'll pay closer attention, especially if the rate if interest rates start to try to put in another temporary uh, top for rates, bottom for bonds. Because remember, they trade inverse. Bonds and rates trade inverse. XRT, the retail ETF, uh, actually holding up a lot better this last week, but still in long-term sell. Breaking down on Friday below this little support ledge, filling the gap. What am I watching for now? Again, if if there are any potential retail plays, I'm going to watch if this finds a base between about 62.80 to about 61.50. Finds a base there and we can get a little upwards pressure. I might start looking in the retail ETF for outperformance plays. They'd have to be outperformance plays. Uh, other than that, not interested, especially since it is in long-term sell, but it has held up slightly better. If you're looking for anything, it, for me to start getting aggressive, the daily cycles have to get closer to the bottom, and the weekly cycles uh, are getting toppy. So I'd get start getting more aggressive. We did break below that 62.5 down around 60.31. Other than that, nothing. Again, this sounds this, this is not a strong market at all. Uh, transportation ETF IYT, you see completing all that double pattern. That's one of the few that did complete its whole pattern. And then now rolling back down. This is in still long-term sell mode. Yes, there is a sloppy double bottom in here. 
Okay, we'll just put it up there, long way off from potentially triggering. Uh, so even on even on bounce plays, I'm looking for rollovers now in transportation. Daily cycles not yet at the bottom. Weekly cycles looking toppy, not quite yet at the top, but can roll over at any time. And this was a very bearish bar. So for me, hands off in transportation right now. Commodities still marching on up. Gold, silver, finally trying to put in at least a short-term bottom. Uranium looking possibly good again. Uh, grains are about the only thing that are looking toppy, but commodity plays are still interesting. Now, weekly cycles at the top. First off, we're still in major long-term buy mode. But weekly cycles getting to the top, daily cycles starting to roll over. So I have to be, even though I'm long-term very bullish on this, I'm starting to get pickier. Pickier, especially if you see on a daily basis we break below. Let me update the harmonic right here. But if we break below this, five, this daily rotation zone about 29.95, then I'm not, it's sort of hands off. We're into a clear path move. I'm hands off until we get to about 29.20, 29.25 to then start looking for uh, some potential plays again in the commodity sector. So long-term bullish, short-term getting hesitant and watching for some pullback plays. Now, let me just jump to here. GDX, adding this into a weekly rotation. Gold miners, why? Because this is another bright spot. We get a close above 33.52 on a daily basis. I'm going to start aggressively hunting for some gold mining stocks. Why am I being a little patient on this? Because of that commodity it's at the top. If we did get a pause in gold and silver and another slight pullback, this could delay on the triggering. Nice outside day reversal. You see daily sectors cycles let me jump back there sorry daily cycles at the bottom weekly cycles getting toppy that's why i'm being patient and waiting but what's interesting is this these could make a run again so gold miners are the bright spot especially with commodities i talked about grains inside uh week with grains still grains are in bullish mode we do still have that potential double top in place on a weekly basis, cycles pretty much caught in the middle and flattening out, and uh, daily at the top. We start. We already closed below that 62.5, so I am watching for the bigger pullback in grains, especially to about 21.50. What would change that is if I start getting a close above about 22.50, but right now it's in this consolidation phase. Uh, it would just be managing positions or any stocks with uh, agriculture related. And again, I keep saying grains, but this is agriculture also. So I'm still bullish in the long term, but being hesitant in the short term. You want your next major direction? Watch last week's high and low for either the breakdown or breakout play. Semis. Semis. Still in long-term sell. This is an example of it couldn't get to that first target with the rollover play, and that looks really bad. And when stuff like that can't get to the first target, it is not bullish at all. We've done a lot of testing with that. So I'm expecting this to uh, retest this low area of about 215. And uh, it's hands off on semis right now. Uh, daily cycles getting to the bottom, interesting enough but weekly cycles at the top. So even if we got a pop up, I just watch for another rollover play. And remember, besides the our sector system, we also have this massive head and shoulders that's triggered. So again, longer term, watching for 214.22, 196.73, and then a return to the 200, simple with the final target, 179.24 area. Hands off on semis for me. We already did GDX. Uh, Vanguard value ETF. Just holding on barely to a buy signal. This was another one. Potential double did not hit the first target, which for a value sector, not good. Now on the daily basis, we did have this little daily top, which first and second targets are hit. Even if we were to get a short-term value bounce, 
uh, I can't get super bullish in this sector just yet. So I'm being very cautious. Now, if there's a value stock that's starting out performing and holds up on market sell-offs, that's about the only thing I'm looking for. Other than that, I'm watching for this to potentially tip next week into a long-term sell signal. And I've also done a lot of fundamental work in looking for value stocks, and there aren't a lot of value stocks with good fundamentals just yet. So even though they're value stocks, they're not valued well. So that's why I'm being very, very cautious in value stocks, especially after we triggered this double pattern, which triggered on Thursday and then just completed it by Friday. So gaps, gaps still look to, at least in the short term, I'm not getting sucked in unless it's an outperforming value stock growth. Again, hit the first double target and then rolled over. Now coming back down into triple area growth long term is uh, in sell mode. I forgot to put up the arrow growth is uh, where is this where I'm on the daily. Hold on. There we go. It is in sell mode now. Yes, there is a potential double still here. But long way off cycles on growth. Uh, daily getting close to the bottom, but not yet bottoming weekly at the top and need to roll over. So I'm expecting much. I'm not expecting this other double to trigger. I'm expecting lower price action in growth. Uh, so my next targets, I'm watching for to reconnect with the 200 week simple and 218.72. So this is the area I'm watching for growth to still get uh, more downward price action. So hands off on that. Also, as I said, not a lot of good news. Sorry for that. We need something to shift drastically. Also this week, remember options expiration quad witching on Friday. We have the Fed on Wednesday. The most important thing is going to be the press conference unless they shock the market by going with 75 instead of 50 basis points. And that would shock it before the press conference. I am expecting them to still come in line with a 50 basis point hike and then if they're going to do something, they're going to issue stronger guidance coming up in the meet, in the after meeting. So that's going to be important Wednesday. And PPI is on Tuesday. So again, we're in super tactile trading. If there are not good setups, uh, hands off. As I went through this, how many bullish things did, did I come up with? Not many. Maybe something in consumer staples. Maybe an outperformer in retail, and that would be like possibly a discount retailer or something. Other than that, it's just not there. But gold miners, that's the only other play. So when you see things this limited, even if you get a, 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 a strong market rally day, they could just be uh, sucking people in for the next rollover play. So that's why I am very cautious on this overall market, and I hope you take that into account with just the, it's not what I think, but the technical patterns aren't showing a lot of strength and aren't showing a lot of bottoming signals that are going to potentially trigger yet. Yes, we have some potential doubles, but they're a long way off from triggering and those could be invalidated on a continued market sell-off. With that, I will talk to everyone later. Have a great, fantastic rest of your weekend. Bye for now.